Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12 Developer Beta 4. This came in at 579.9 megabytes for me on my iPhone 10. Now, if you're wondering about public beta 3, I would expect that out either later today or within a couple of days. We never really know exactly when they're going to release it. This also came in a little bit smaller on my 12.9 inch iPad Pro, 422.7 megabytes. So it's around 500 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. Now the build is 16A5327F, and I share that so that you know which version you're on. So when you're updated, you can check that and know that you're either on the latest beta or a previous one, depending what your build number is. Now this particular beta, when I rebooted it, had a couple new prompts. One of those was some new agreements to license agreements. And then also there was a prompt informing me of automatic updates and whether or not I wanted to turn that on. If you agree to it, it will turn it on and then it will check for updates automatically. Now, initial impressions is it's pretty fast and fluid. I did have some hiccups in the app store and scrolling and things wasn't working right. And one of the bugs Apple says that's still present or a new issue is installing apps may not work and their solution is to try again. That's actually straight in the notes. So there could be some issues with that. And there's actually significant bugs in this one. There's over 15 resolved issues and over 15 known issues still exist. So beware if you're installing this, but you probably know that if you run betas anyway. Now, one of the things they've fixed is Fortnite should now work without crashing, so that's great if you're playing that. Also, Netflix should still work without crashing when downloading a video. So if you had those issues, those should be resolved. Now, some of the things they've added have to do with cellular data. They've changed that a little bit in settings. So if you go to cellular, we'll go into this, and you'll see that the data is chronological, or what I mean from most used to least used as far as data. Now, it reboots. That's one of the issues is in your, when you're in that cellular data, it will respring over and over. It's just one of the known bugs. So Apple's changing some things there that we're not sure about. Now, one of the things they've added are new stickers under activity. So we had some new ones before, but there's even more new ones. Let's take a look at that. So you'll see here's some new stickers. Nothing crazy, but there are some new ones. And also in the activity app itself, there's some new things. So let's take a look at that as well. Nothing really significant here, but we've got some new icons. They've redesigned them. You'll see iOS 11.4.1 on the left. These are the same walk or, or activity workouts. You'll see they're a little bit different. Whether that's the new one or not, we won't know until it finally releases, but that's one of the tweaks as well. Now on the iPad side, there's one change that I've found. Let's go into that. And you'll see here's an app that was meant for an iPhone. So I'll open it and it's resized. But now we have an arrow right here and it resizes it to the regular size and then larger again. So nothing crazy there, but that's something that's new. Now, today is World Emoji Day and Apple mentioned that they were going to add 70 emoji. They have not added them yet, but this is their website with all that information. And it just tells you that there's going to be more than 70 new emoji coming to iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. And you'll see here's some of them. And then if we scroll down, there's some new ones as well. And again, there's more animals as well. So there's just some new ones. And for World Emoji Day, Apple has had some fun with their leadership profiles as well. They've made Memoji for all of their different profiles. So these are all of the leaders of Apple. And you'll see they've just made themselves Memojified, if that's a word. So you can just scroll down through those. And if you go to Apple's website at the bottom and check out Apple Leadership under About, you'll be able to see these. Now there's another issue on the iPhone that's been resolved and that has to do with the wallpapers. So let's go into one of those and I'll show you what I mean. Now we can resize it. It works just fine like it did before. And finally it's back to where it should be. Now there's a lot of little issues that are still here. There's not a lot of new, it's more refinements, but there's also a lot of little issues that you need to look out for. I mentioned apps installing, but also you can have issues with your cellular signal indicator. It may not be accurate right here or on the home screen, according to Apple. Also your screen time usage data and settings might not sync between devices and the more serious issues have to do with Siri itself. So what that means is shortcuts using CarPlay shortcuts may give an error on HomePod. shortcuts might not restore from an iCloud backup and just Siri shortcuts might not work when the device is locked. So there might be changing some things with integration of shortcuts itself within the OS. Currently when you run 
a, a voice command for a shortcut. It exits out, opens the shortcut app, and then executes it. Maybe they're trying to integrate that more. I'm not sure. Now, one of the other things pertains specifically to T-Mobile. So if you're on T-Mobile, you may have an issue with Wi-Fi calling, not handing off back and forth between cellular and T-Mobile properly. So that's going to be fixed in a future update, but that's an issue. And also, if you use Wallet a lot, the Wallet app might crash. So those are all of the more serious issues. A lot of the other things have to do with developer issues. So those are all of the different little tweaks and changes. There's not a whole lot new, but we're going to see less and less of that as we get closer to the release in September. So at the current rate, I wouldn't expect a new one until the 31st, the next beta. Or if they want to speed it up, we could see one the 24th. I would guess the 31st, then the 14th, then the 28th, and we'll see more and more fast beta releases by then. But that's it for this one. I'll be doing a follow-up to cover cover battery life and all of those things in a few days after we know for sure how that's going. And also I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. Let me know if you've found anything though. Oh, and they released the updates for the watch as well. If I find anything new, I'll make a video about that. If not, there won't be anything new. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.